can tell. I'm looking right at it. It's still wet. Here he goes. Look at that. Not, not, not the finish is gone. Finish. <laughs> He's 46 years old with a 20 year old body. <laughs> <laughs>
so far last. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to salt this caramel, wild berries, coconut, and then caramel coffee. <clears throat> I really hope that's not bad. I hope so because too. we saved the in green, we were like, ah. I also says co I got big coffee drinkers. Oh. I like coffee. Okay. I like coffee flavor too. You know, a couple people that love coffee. We just yeah. Like coffee. All right. This is not as flaky. I feel like the chocolate ones are just extra flaky. Because like this came out like barely any. All right. This is the dirt. <laughs> this is the dirt in it. <laughs> I'm like, I, I left out with like a really big piece. I have to dig to figure out something. A little more consistency on this. One. That one smells a little more. This one smells a lot better. So this is salty caramel again. Yeah, salty caramel. You spilled the whole thing in your mouth. Hmm? Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's why there's a size difference between us. <laughs> taste much. It's very it doesn't have as much flavor as I thought it would. It's basic for bland. Yeah. It'd be good on rum when you don't want something to overpower your flavor or anything like that. Or, like you can taste some of it but it's not like it's not it tastes a lot like the honey to me. Yeah. I don't taste the salt of caramel there. This um this is someone burnt the caramel when they're making it. They had sugar in the pot, they stirring they they, yeah. they overdid it. It's a little bit burnt. But I would I would eat this I would definitely choose this over the dirt chocolate. Yep. I mean, the salted chocolate. Sorry, Goo. <laughs> no sponsorship from Goo. <laughs> All right. This is a wild card, honestly, for me. Mm -hmm. Wild berries. Because um, we all know how caramel tastes and chocolate and that's coconut, but like the wild berries, like, that could go kind of any which way. Does it have real berries? This naturally flavored. Oh, yeah. All right. You should give me a nice mess. Well, this, this seems to be a little stickier than the other ones. The stuff that's inside of the package. Wild berries, y'all. Smells like a pop tart. It does smell like a pop tart. <laughs> like a blueberry pop tart. I feel like Josie, <laughs> Josie has PTSD <laughs> over these pop tart type. It's not like a huge pop tart guy. I'm not a big fan of it, but I like that. It's like it's like the flavoring inside that pop tart, like the blueberry pop tart, without or the wild berry, without all the gel stuff. It's just yeah, that, I like that one. It's like a hint of I like that. That one's definitely the best so far. It's pleasantly sweet, and it's not like overpowered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem as dry as the chocolate one either. Yeah, the chocolate one's dry. That one's really dry. This one, it's not a good, good flavor. So put that at the front of the pack right. So sorry for talking trash about the wild berries. That one was good. The wild thorn berries. Oh, I said black though. <laughs> I mean, you flexed the whole time. The fuck happened? You flexed it. What does it happen when your muscles are too big? Wow. All right, coconut. Yeah, I'm over okay. here instinctively flexing my arm when I'm over here. Like, <laughs> I'm on high piles for this one. I love like pina colada types. You know, tropical. Drinkish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely smells oh, like smells ooh, hey, that's straight sm coconut. Yeah. That smells like I can mix this with liquor. <laughs> Another pop tart. <laughs> <laughs> definitely coconut. So, so far, my conclusion with these are they all taste like the <clears throat> like the waffle versions of LaCroix. Like the flavors <laughs> in the other room. Like you can, I can taste the flavor, but it's not like the, it's such a weird sensation. Cause like I know the flavor, like I taste the flavor, but it's not like I'm tasting straight the flavor. You know, mm -hmm. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, the flavor is almost there. It's yeah. enough to where you know it's there, but it's not like direct on your tongue flavor. So now, is it above or below wild berries? 
I was also going to put coconut below Salty's really? uh, caramel. Mm. Caramel. However you say it. Caramel? No, it's in there. It's caramel. <laughs> I guess good, but I'd like the basic more. Okay. I'd like I eat it. I feel like if we're rating for everybody else, I put coconut behind the caramel because you have to like coconut if you're going to have this one. It's you're, it's a coconut flavor. It's yeah. not even like a like it tastes like actual coconut, not yeah. like a coconut flavor. Yeah, it's just it's just, just straight up coconut, and I would yeah. agree. Like <clears> I <throat> like the flavor of coconut. I would put it behind wild berry, but but as far as thinking like in general, people in general, what they're gonna want. If you if you're not a huge coconut fan, you'd put the caramel. Above it. Yeah. Yeah. I went and I tried to say not saying it too. Like, I don't really got cooking up. I'll eat it and I'm like, man. Don't see because no no taste. I don't know how to say words properly. Cooking up? <laughs> Sorry. Right. Some off a Disney channel. <laughs> 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 like Sebastian of Little Mermaid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Caramel coffee. Co- Did I say it right? Coffee? It's okay. Yes, what? Sir. what? Coffee doesn't have a K in it. Corn. Corn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not like coffee. Corn. Corn. <laughs> Look, I, I say it right, I think. I think I say it right. I'm going to sniff this one until y'all are ready. All right. Ooh, this is coffee right here. That's, this is straight up coffee right here. Mm-hmm. Black coffee. Not, yeah, this is not, there's, no, there's no creamer in yeah. this coffee. This ain't uh, frappuccino. Oh, boy. That's, I'm a while. Sometimes when it comes to these things, I'm waiting to see. Hold on, they don't, they're not reacting. A bastard, you should have reacted. <laughs> <laughs> this is no for you, dog. If you like your coffee black, this is the one for you. And you're a psychopath. Yeah. Talking to you, Anna. I still like it. <laughs> I like it, but it's not, I'm not. I'm not buying it. I'll rate it behind coconut. But in front, it'll be chocolate. I would have the same. It's probably my favorite. What? Really? This not put anything in his mouth. No. <laughs> <laughs> I still eat it. <laughs> Again, like the coconut, you gotta love coffee. This one also has is only with caffeine in it. Is it? Twenty milligrams of caffeine. Nothing else has caffeine. Now it is messed your stomach up before the race. We all know them spark bathrooms. <clears throat> and no, listen, they show up already. Listen, nasty. Look, <laughs> so you had gone first, right? Yeah. The bathroom, and you yeah. were like, <laughs> I was like, don't go. I was like, bro, we just got. It is like seven o'clock in the morning. Why is these bathrooms so nasty? We were there for the, the only people who beat us there were probably the ultras. The early morning ultras. The bathroom was already disgusting. Spartan. I don't know what that was about, but I went into the bathroom <laughs> at like 7.48 in the morning. And it was blown up like it had been there for three days. I rather use the trail. Seriously, I'll go on trail <laughs> with a leaf. I use a leaf. <laughs> now, every time I've had to use enough Spartans, like, well, it was, I actually picked up the clean one. I don't know how I got lucky, but... You must have because white yeah. privilege. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't I don't know about this one because it has the caffeine. I don't know how people would react to the caffeine. Um, but as far as flavor, Josie has this number one. Um, Anthony and I put this four. Yeah. So we're looking at as far as the general population and thinking of like I guess race day. And, yeah. Um, our consensus seems to be wild berries, salted caramel, coconut, caramel coffee, and salted chocolate. <clears throat> Since I'm sure the other video will be up by now, do any of these stack up to the honey stinger? Mm. I think, honestly, mm. I'm still going honey stinger with like the cinnamon before yeah. I would go like wild berry with the stroop waffle. I want to hear what Honestly, the best two to me it would be a toss up between the cinnamon and the wild berry. I would go either or. I don't really have a preference. Now, after that, I'll take more of the 
Honey Stinger. Honey Stinger over any of these. But this one I would definitely put in there in the top three between all of it. So for me, <clears throat> my top two are still Honey Stingers. It's still salt and caramel and cinnamon. Like up there battling, I, I, I'd gladly eat either one of those twice a day for no reason. Then this after wild berry kind of creeps in. Mm. Um, Cause it, I really like that that sweetness, that very sweetness that came in. So I would choose. So honestly, if I had to put in order, I would say it's salt. It's the caramel, from the honey stinger caramel, the honey stinger cinnamon, the goo wild berries, and then any honey stinger. Honestly, any of the honey stingers except for the cookies and cream, then the goo, and then salted caramel cookies and cream. I'm just gonna forget that I have them and not, <laughs> and not eat it. I'll drink water. <laughs> I offer those to somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> Need a uh, honey stinger? <laughs> <laughs> Sabotage someone else's race. Yeah. How do they stack up cost wise? These were a dollar fifty each. Honey stinger was a what? Dollar ninety five? Yeah. So about a forty five cent difference. And I think there's enough flavor difference. I would spend the money on the honey stinger. I was worried once I, they all started to have that like background taste, I call it. Yeah. Where it's like it's not right in front of your face, but you know, it's still there. But <clears throat> All right. It's like when you can taste the smell. That's basically what it is. Yeah, that's they they do these taste more like they smell than the honey stingers do, but that's not necessarily a good thing. Right. Because <laughs> like for like the short stack smelled really really good for the honey stingers, and it did not taste as short stacky as I wanted it to. These taste like these smell like they have an aftertaste. Especially this, especially this guy, mm -hmm. this salty chocolate. You, it smells like dirt. <laughs> Goo, like I'm sure, I'm sure, like nutritionally, you're you're great, but I'm gonna have to keep you in the friend zone for the most part. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work out. It's the same amount of calories, same amount of added sugar. Neither of them have protein or fiber. Like they're they're so similar. And then they're supposed to warm it up first. Goo, that's too much. You're doing too much. Whip. If I am on the trail. <laughs> Unless it's a 90 degree day. You got to run with it in between your hands. These ain't gonna be warm. <laughs> I'm, I'm needing to do better, goo. Give me something. <laughs> Legit, how to, how to stroop waffle. Y'all, I like this flavor. Don't tell me to warm it up. <laughs> let us know what we need to try next. Yeah, let us know what we're trying. Um, Let us know if you eat these, which ones do you like? Are we wrong in our opinion? Are there any people out there who like the salted chocolate? You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say it, but this is the truth. Um, that's horrible. So, like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> Make sure you hit the notification bell. Ding. I go. I should. <laughs>